so no head. Hey, yo, cut the music, cut the music. Somebody left an ice cube on the ground and melted and now my sock is wet. Who the fuck wanna... There is only one thing worse than a rapist. Boom. A child. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So The Flash has been filming its fifth season for around a week and a bit now, with most of it so far being indoor filming. But as I did say around the end of last week roughly, we should start to see public filming begin outdoors, which of course would lead to some set photos getting out there of what we should expect to see in episode 1 of season 5. And well, that is exactly what happened earlier today as The Flash filmed a scene involving a heist at a jewellery store with some uh, exciting introductions. Now this information and these set photos are coming from our good old friend uh, Canada Graph, so be sure to check out their link in the description down below where you can see more set photos from this scenes like filming and some more detailed information as well. And also you may as well go over there and just see it for future set photo drops in the future. So let's start from the beginning of today's filming where the scenes that were shot consisted mostly of Grant Gustin who obviously plays Barry Allen aka The Flash and his stunt double Corey Lorden facing off against a henchman who was wearing a black mask over his face, who you can see in some of these shots. And he seemed to be causing havoc at Central City Jewelers. In an early scene that was filmed with a stunt team for The Flash, the Flash hits the henchman so hard that he goes flying back and gets slammed and crashes into an armored truck. Later on, they shot a scene where the henchman gets him back with a punch that sends The Flash or the Scarlet Speedstar flying straight through the air back. So I guess they're just going back and forth with punches that are leading people into the air. So obviously the fact that this henchman was able to do this does like heavily suggest that he is in fact a meta as well. And the next thing to go down was obviously the, the big play of the day, if you want to call it, as we had Jessica Parker Kennedy arrive on set as Nora Allen. And it just wasn't her going, hey, I'm here, I'm just Nora Allen. It was Nora Allen and she was in full speed start get up or attire. Now during the scene, we did not have Nora's speedster name revealed. However, we will jump into that uh, or into, into what that will most likely be going off what her suit design is taken from in regards to the comics. We'll get into that later. Now the crew on the flash worked really hard to try and cover the scene up from the public and like what they could see. And Canada Grass would have possibly not realized it either if it weren't for the fact that he had actually, uh, or they had actually seen her early in the day around the set and was on the lookout for her during that scene. They had her hidden behind a lot of equipment and she didn't really come out into view of where the fans were standing. Now in the scene that was filmed with Nora, she yells briefly at Barry something along the lines of, what are you doing? As if like questioning his decision, uh, decision or something like that. And that's literally all that she does in the scene, uh, in the scene by the sounds of it. Which makes you think, is this literally like a montage of Nora going through time and finding various versions of Barry and just questioning what he's doing? I don't know, I have to wait and see, I guess. But obviously during that portion of the video where I was just explaining everything that went down on set, you would have seen the photos that were taken on set. But what the hell is going on here? And funnily enough, it doesn't all revolve around Nora, but mainly Barry and the fact that he is... You know, he's wearing his suit from not season two and three, not that, but the suit from season one, even with the red emblem on his chest. We do know that in the season four finale that Barry had his suit pretty messed up by the explosion from the satellite that was crashing down on Central City and that was destroyed with the help of, you know, Nora Allen. You know, he had like part of his mask was missing. There was like little spots and holes all over his suit from the explosion. So is Barry just wearing this old suit in the meantime due to the fact that his other one was destroyed? Or are we possibly dealing with time travel here again? Obviously, we do know that Nora does yell something along the lines of, what are you doing to Barry at one point? So this could be something to do with that. Or the other obvious option is that this is back in the times of season one. And for some reason, Nora is intervening here. I don't think that is likely as I think Nora has messed with the timeline enough, but it is still an option, obviously. But do let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below. I'm sure there's going to be varied opinions. But now let's move on to the main thing that everyone is excited about from seeing these set photos. And that is of course the first reveal and look at Nora's full suit. Now there obviously isn't one full shot of uh, her here uh, in her full suit, but we have, you know, or we can piece together the full look through uh, various shots that we do have. The first thing to go over is just the general look of the suit. And that is basically the same to what we saw with Iris back in episode 16 of last season or, you know, season four in the Run Iris Run episode. Nora is obviously wearing the same jacket, but also seems to be wearing very, very similar pants. Obviously they're black 
and they're just there to match the suit better, but they just do look similar to the ones that Candace Patton or Iris West was wearing last season. At first glance, you might be thinking that the mask is the same. However, you can see in some of the photos that the mask has some sort of like material or is it like glitter or something or just like a shiny substance on the edges or something that's giving off like a shiny reflection. You can see that in the corner of the mask just to make it a bit different. Uh, but let me know if you have any further explanation and thoughts on that in the comments. I just noticed that and I thought, okay, that's interesting. But when we jump into the other detailing and stuff on her suit, that is where we start to learn more as to what is actually going on here. So firstly, with the gauntlets, this finally negates that theory about it being someone else that stopped the satellite with Barry and that it wasn't Nora. I was confused by that whole theory. I just thought, why would they do that and then have the big thing with Nora, big thing with Nora coming in? It was just a silly one. But yeah, they look cool. But if anything, we probably got a better look at them in, in the season four finale as they really did focus in on Nora's fist and arm coming into the foreground of that shot. But yeah, I didn't really notice anything that new with the gauntlets. Like there is a cool, like it's almost like an arrow design going down them. But if you found anything cool with them, let me know in the comments. But onto Nora's boots. They're pretty cool, I must say. They're very different and much more flashy, like possible pun intended there, than what we have seen with other speedsters on the show before who tend to have like darker colors with their boots or just like darker shades of colors. So like with Barry and Wally with their red boots, they're not light red or like shiny red, they're a bit darker. Like Wally's are a bit lighter than Barry's, but they're still on the dark side. So her bright yellow boots are something very new, but obviously designed that way to match up with the rest of her suit. Like if she had like some plain black boots, her suit wouldn't be that interesting. You know, she's from 30 years in the future. Give her something a bit, uh, a bit more flashy. But it is actually here where we get onto the logo on her chest, which possibly, if not most likely confirms what Nora Speed's name will be on the show. So as you can see here, it is sort of like an S shape that still looks fairly like a lightning bolt, as you'd expect with a Flash character or a Speedstar. But this is actually from the comics, this like this symbol. This is uh, on the suit of Jenny Ognatz, otherwise known as XS from the comics. Jenny is actually the granddaughter to Barry and Iris and the daughter of Dawn Allen from the comics, who is basically who Nora is on the show. Like they basically said, Nora is Dawn, but they wanted to change her name to Nora. Obviously it is much smaller on Nora's chest in comparison to what we see in the comics with Jenny Ognatz, but that is obviously because it wouldn't look as good in live action. And also they can just like take it off. You know, if it was a big, big like S or that symbol, it'd be on there permanently. But with that little emblem thing, they, they can just take it off really easily. And also it just wouldn't look that good on live action having that big S in my opinion. I think it's just better with the little, the little symbol. But overall with these set photos, it's very interesting. Like I'm very intrigued by it all. I'm just interested to see like what's going on with Barry's suit. Like if it was just Barry in his season four suit, we could go, okay, this is just Barry and Nora fighting crime. But the fact that it's Barry in his season one suit, he's still fighting a meta. Um, we don't know if this is a new meta or if it's time travel, it's just a season one meta or something. But the fact that Nora's coming in, you know, it seems that she's just questioning Barry really quickly and that's it with the scene. It's a bit of a head scratcher because it's really hard to place where this scene is. We don't have any other characters. Wally is in there, even though we know he's going to be in episode one of this season. So it's really up in the air as to what's actually going on here with these set photos. I'm inter actually interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments about this, because there's a couple of options, as I was saying, like it could be time travel. Um, it, or Barry's time traveling. It could just be that Nora's time traveling and gone back to season one where Barry was fighting, or it's literally Barry's just in present day deciding to wear the season one suit because maybe the suit that he had last season wasn't wearable and Cisco hasn't gotten around to making a new one. You know, there's a couple of options there. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. But we could get more set photos in the next couple of days. Obviously, Comic-Con is this weekend, so they'll have to wrap up filming to go do that for a bit. Um, but yeah, maybe we could get more stuff revolving around this and more looks at Nora's suit, maybe a full look at her in her proper suit without having to like piece stuff together. That'd be really cool. But the last thing I want to say is that Danielle Pannebaker, who plays Caitlin uh, Snow, I was going to say Caitlin Frost, but Caitlin Snow or Killer Frost in the show will actually be directing an episode of The Flash this season, which is awesome news. So congratulations to Danielle. Obviously, I had been saying that this is the time of a show's run where you start to get the actors and people on the show starting to get behind the camera and start directing episodes. We see, we saw it a lot with Smallville um, and we'll probably get it with Arrow and stuff as well. And we've also seen it on The Flash previously with Tom Cavanaugh as well. Um, so that's awesome news for her. And um, yeah, but thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on these said photos. You, do you like Nora's look? Do you like the symbol? Do you like the boots? Do you like the mask? And what do you think of Barry in his season one suit? Bit of a head scratcher, but yeah, let me know all of your opinions down there in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.